Hi, I'm Uncle Mark. Welcome to the channel. Just working on a 2003 Chevy Impala. It's probably very similar for 2000 or 2005. Probably even work with some of the newer ones. Uh, principles are kind of the same. Uh, what I'm doing is I am taking the power door lock, power window switch, and the power mirror switches out. In case you need to replace them, we'll show you how they come out and how they go back in. It's pretty simple. Let's get right to it. So if we take a look at with the door open here, I'll show you how these things come apart. There's two little screws or bolts, you want to call them. They're actually torques. They're T30s. You'll need a torque bit. A T30 torque bit. I'll try and put a link in the description in case you don't have any of these. They're handy to have. Most of these vehicles now have a lot of these. So there's just two of them. You just pop them out. Give you an idea what it looks like. Now what you're going to want to do is just prime the back here and then pull towards you that way. There's a little clip where my right hand is. And these wires, you just have to gently pull on them. And we'll unclip the connectors. See that little tab there? Yeah, that's what you wanted to pull away from on the door when you were pulling it out. So these all have little clips you push. You can see there. I'm going to push it in and then try and pull the connector up. Easier said than done. If you had an extra set of hands, it would really make it easy. But we don't and I don't. So you have to play around with it a little bit. You might be able to just unlock it enough so then you can pop it up. It's like it's just undone. Come on. There you go. And they're all a little different. This one's on a different side, facing a different way. At least you can't mix them up when you put them back in. So if you can push a little tab and then pull up on it on the connector, don't really want to pull on the wires. And then this last one, kind of a coral color or terracotta color, whatever color it is. There you go. That's those switches. Now we'll set them aside for a minute and we'll look at the power door lock switch. Now here, there's a Phillips screw. Not sure what number Phillips it is. It's not the really big one. It's not the really small one. It's whatever the middle one is probably. Typical Phillips. Pull that out. Set it aside somewhere where you won't lose it. And then this piece is just kind of clipped in. I'm going to pull it from that side, and there's a clip on the other side as well. I'll show you the back of it. And it just comes out. So the switch has two clips on either side of it. We just gently pry and pull the switch towards you. And it's that easy. And there's no way to really unhook the switch unless you pull it out like that. And another one of those little clips you push in and then wiggle the whole thing up you have to do just two in unison that's a little tougher if you can do the two together push the tab and pull the connector there's the power door switch easy enough so let's take a look at our door switches first and then i'll show you how to put them back in now these is a couple switches actually for this one um, the mirrors are one switch which I'm going to do first. Again, they have those little tabs on the side. You just gently want to pry up on it. And then if you push on the switch from the other side with my left hand there, push the switch down, it should just kind of pop out on the one side. You heard it go click. Don't want to break it. And I'm just taking a look at it to make sure I'm doing it right. Same with this side. I'm going to push on the switch at the same time that I just gently pry because uh, this beige color piece or whatever color your interior is does not come with the switches and it might be very hard to find in your color and the switch comes out 
See the little tabs there. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the power window switches. Same idea. If you can just gently unlock them by this four of them, prying it with a little baby, baby screwdriver and pushing the switches as you're prying, and that side will come out, and then do the same on the other side. Just putting a little bit of pressure with my left hand at the same time. Do the same with this one, it should just pop out. Look at that. And then you can just swap over your new parts. So you just reverse the whole thing with the new pieces, and hopefully that's fixed your problem. So I'll put these switches back in. There was nothing wrong with them, so. A lot of times you'll have problems with the wires in the door, with the door flexes and the door jam. But let's just, these just click in. It's that easy. Just make sure they're all the way in. And they won't fall out. And the same with, these only go in one way. With the power mirror switch. It's clicked in. Okay, now let's uh, let's put this together first. And then we'll worry about the power door lock switch. So again, these only plug into their own connector. You cannot mix them up. Blue one goes in the middle. And just the way the wires are too, they are really not long enough to even... If they were the same connector, I don't think you could mix them up and then this last we may have to grab the wiring harness and just give it a little pull make it long enough a little bit of twisting should click in and then the front piece where your mirrors are that little tab goes in first down and in kind of slides under and in and the back goes down and then we're just gonna screw those two down with the other last two big screws. The ones with the torque bits on them again. I find it's easier maybe just to put them in layout first, get them threaded and then use the ratchet to get them all the way in, unless you're using a torque screwdriver, which are kind of handy too. But then we're gonna do our power door lock switch snap that in there first and then you can put it into the assembly want to make sure it's working and then there's little tabs locking tabs that when you just open the handle get it in through the hole there line up the tabs give it a little tap and it looks like we're done just have a phillips screw the last one there to put in Tighten her up, snug her up, and we're done. Like new. Hopefully it's fixed your problem. Well, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Uh, no sense in paying somebody to do that if you can do it yourself. It just required a few tools, probably tools you're going to use on another job later. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down in the corner as well. Um, since you own an Impala, how about some more videos on this car? Uh, I have many different videos, but I have a specific playlist uh, for this Impala. So if you have some other issues, you can take a look there, see if one of the videos uh, will help you out. I'm going to get going until next time. Uh, you and your family stay safe. Bye-bye from Uncle Mark. Please subscribe. And you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell.